Hi everyone and welcome to another Autodesk screencast video by Zonta of Repo Products. This screencast video will showcase how to import a PDF file into AutoCAD. It will also take a look at how to attach a PDF file into AutoCAD. So here I am in AutoCAD 2017. If I go to the insert tab of the ribbon and I click attach, I'm actually starting the XREF command. When I use this command, a window will pop up and I can pick the file that I want to pick and work with. I'll click open and a attach PDF underlay command window will pop open. And that window looks like this. And in this window, it's asking you to pick the page or pages that I want to attach. So for this example, we'll just pick one. You can specify the path type to be full, relative, or no path. You can specify on the screen the insertion point, otherwise it'll go at 0, 0, 0. You can also specify scale as well. And then rotation. So I'm going to leave the defaults and click OK. When I do this, that PDF file comes in as a PDF overlay. If I select underlay, if you select it, you'll see you'll have a contextual tab called PDF underlay. And in here, it gives you the ability to do certain things like contrast and fading and then displaying in monochrome or not, and then also creating clipping boundaries if I need to. So if I want to create a clipping boundary, I can say create a polygonal one and draw a polygonal shape like this. When I'm done, I hit enter, and I've actually clipped the PDF underlay. I can click remove clipping here, and it will remove that. Uh, this show underlay hides or dis uh, displays the data. Enable snapple, snaps is turned on by default, so that way when you're drawing content, say a circle, it snaps to the entities, as you can see. And then uh, you can actually get back to the XREF uh, palette command window here, if you need to, by clicking that command. And then you can also click Edit Layers. Edit Layers dialog box pops up, gives you the reference file that you're working with, and it'll tell you what layers that it has within that particular file and whether you can turn them on or off or not. Now, you also have PDF import as an object. This is a contextual command that comes up when the contextual PDF underlay tab shows up. This is similar to this um, under the insert tab. Under the import panel, there's a PDF import command. And if I click this, it's going to ask me to either select the PDF underlay, which is this one here, or I can click File. When I click File, the window called Select PDF File opens up and it asks me to select the PDF file. So if I pick this particular file and hit Open, it's going to open up another window called Import PDF. And in this Import PDF window, you have the ability to specify the particular file type you get a preview. It, you can specify the insertion point on the screen or at zero, zero. You can specify scale and rotation. And within PDF data to import, you can import vector geometry, solid fills, true type text, or any raster images. And then bring the layers in, either PDF layers or create object layers or current layer. You have other import options as well. Import as a block join line and arc segments, convert solids to fills to hatches, apply line weights, and infer line types from collinear dashes. If this is unchecked, for example, here under import as block, then the information comes in and it comes in as individual items. Um, whereas if you click it, it treats it as an AutoCAD block. And if you need to manipulate it, you edit the block within the block uh, attribute editing window. So I'm going to leave that like so, by the way, if you click the Options command here, it really just opens up the dialog box called Options and highlights PDF import image location. So you can change that if you need to change it. When I click OK, it's going to ask me to place that file. So I'm going to click to place it. And AutoCAD will go through the PDF file and convert any of the raster-based content uh, into vector-based content. and when it's all said and done, 
and depending on how big the file is and how much content is in there, will dictate how fast it takes. When it's complete, your file um, content will show, and you can actually manipulate the data. So let's just give it a second, and once it's finished, we'll take a look at the end result. So now that the PDF file has been imported and it was set to not a block, you'll notice that as I zoom in and I hover over objects, they're actually entities. Uh, lines, blocks, polylines, uh, text, uh, hatching, shading, things like that. So it's kind of a neat way to get a PDF file that has content that was originally coming from a vector-based software back into your AutoCAD environment. Um, and treat it and work with it as actual vector-based content. Okay. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.